every year thousands of children are born with autism in Nigeria. These children with autism are not diagnosed and managed on time, hence their family and society see them sometimes as a burden. Due to the inability of the parents and most health workers to detect children with autism early, the children suffer great health loss. Some are even denied their right to basic needs. Now, some are isolated by their families due to the shame of having a child with intellectual or cognitive disability, while some suffer from the menace of cultural beliefs, superstitions, and myth as they are being called witches, some cases even vessels, fools, as well, as well as neglected and the stigmatization among others. Joining us live via Skype is Dotun Akonde, who is administrator, Patrick's Speech and Language Therapy Center. Good morning, Mrs. Akonde. Good morning. And good to have you uh, this morning. Uh, now let's go straight to the matter. You've been on this journey longer than most people. Tell us how you came to be an advocate for special needs and in particular autism. Um, my uh, experience dates back to my son who was diagnosed at the age of three and eventually went on to be uh, a, 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 a boy that had difficulties with speaking, with um, communication, with uh, behavior and growing up, uh, he was doing very well when we got him into therapy and I was really perplexed at how well he did. Or I was thinking when he was diagnosed that it would be a lifelong developmental disorder. But growing up, I found out that with uh, therapy, he actually did very well. So I, we went on to set up a center to support families who are struggling. Right. Uh, th there are a lot of myths and unclarity about what autism is, especially maybe for those who are hearing it for, for the first time. Could you explain, you know, in a very simple and clear terms, what autism is? Autism is actually a developmental disorder, uh, meaning that it starts from childhood. You don't develop it at adulthood. And it affects children in the area of um, spoken language, receptive language, that means speaking and understanding language in the area of behavior. That means they have um, a behavior that you are worried about, an odd behavior, a restricted behavior. They are attached to an object. And the area of social skills, meaning that they enjoy isolation. They enjoy playing alone. They would rather uh, exclude themselves from a crowd than include themselves in, um, in play with other children and with adults. And also, they don't understand uh, signs, facial expressions, gestures, and some of them are sensory seeking. That means they are seeking some form of sensitivity. That's why you find some of them holding up a particular object and playing up with it for a very long time, lining objects up in a particular manner. Or they are sensory avoiding, meaning that you find some of them closing their ears, putting their hands over their ears to cover the noise around them. So those are some of the signs that you see that tells you that the child has autism. Interesting there. Uh, in terms of help and provision, what have you witnessed in Nigeria you know, for people living with uh, autism? When we started in 2006, it was really, really scarce. But over the years, we found that many more people have come on board uh, because of the awareness programs we have generated in collaboration with other, uh, other institutions to support families and to bring, to, to bring training back home. So right now, the awareness has grown. It's still not enough. We can do 100 times more than we are doing already because as the, not, as the awareness is growing, our children are also growing. As you know, this year, the theme for the World Autism Day, which happened on the 2nd of April, is transition to adulthood, meaning that our children will indeed grow up to be adults. How do we manage them now to be responsible adults, to engage them in um, vocation or in employment, and to help them to self-advocate without having their parents speak for them all the time? Thank you very much, Mrs. Dotson. We're pressed for time and can't take more than this. Uh, thanks for all you do also for autistic persons. Thank you very much for having me.